Hello and welcome to eWeekly. We have an exciting show for you today. A special guest performance from an up-and-coming singer-songwriter Luke Roberts and later an exclusive interview with Ben Patterson giving us an insight into the world of performing arts. Making it in the in entertainment world can be difficult. However, three Kiwi girls have overcome this challenge by making their own comedy series. Since the creation of their YouTube channel in 2013, Flat 3 Productions has been steadily gaining followers. In three years, they've generated nearly 400,000 views. Take a look and let's see what you think. My vagina is a stupid cunt. And cut there. <laughs> I am a, uh, the cast and co-creator of Flat 3, a web series. We're going into our third season this year, filming it currently, and it'll be released in September. So we're in a new house for season three, and this is the uh, set. You know, different couch, different side table, but those are the dancing chairs. <laughs> so we've got those back again. This time round, we're doing six episodes and they're a little bit longer with one Christmas special and we've shot over about, I think it was about three weeks, two or three weeks. Episode 19, scene 21 Alpha, take one. Rolling. Rolling and mark. She's so scared that people will see her for what she really is. A ridiculous, ugly dick. The season's been funded by New Zealand On Air, um, so we received a Kickstarter grant of 100,000, which just means we're, you know, our crew's bigger this time, we're able to afford to pay people. Um, so we, you know, this time we have art department, we have lighting, separate to cameras, um, and we're able to afford locations and we can, you know, our variety of places to film has just opened up. Um, I'm the B cam operator, so as you can see we've got two cameras, there's one there and one on the Glycam. And so because it's really fast turnaround, um, we're doing like six short films in less than three weeks. Location sound recorders, well actually it's studio, um, this is my first time in a studio shoot. In terms of recognition and feedback, we get a lot on um, the internet, obviously. Um, but you know, people are actually really vocal on even YouTube and Facebook as well. Um, but I think a lot of our, a lot of the um, viewers in the states actually write comments on YouTube, which we find is really nice and it's actually really great. Um, you know, but you have here they comment, they might quote back things they've seen in the episode, for example, this one, she says, haha, full fat milk. <laughs> you got trim milk again. I thought we were doing full fat milk, we said last week. Oh, uh, you, you don't really, you don't really need full fat milk. And just saying, you know, things like, go Ellie, or, yeah, they're really, they're all really positive, and everyone's very funny, and they, um, yeah, very vocal, which is very nice. The positives of flat, filming Flat 3 are, you know, we were able to do something we find really fun. Um, it's comedy, so it's always a good time on set. You know, I think we're well, getting recognition, getting funding, that was a big positive for us. It sort of gave us a lot of confidence and really nice to have the support from NZ On Air to be able to do something we, for fun. Yeah. Wow, they are hilarious. Creating your own TV series looks like so much fun. Using social media is clearly becoming a common way for talent to be discovered. Singer-songwriter Luke Roberts has been uploading his music via Facebook and is now recording with Record Enable, a local Auckland studio. Here with us today in the studio to debut his hot new single, Rip Jeans, it's Luke Roberts.
Electricity is electricity running through my soul. Oh, and I could easily lose my mind the way it gets me work each time, pulling me to come back. Bed screaming Georgia on my mind, oh, and I, oh, and I, lips generous and warm. Sun and wild, remind me what it's like. Oh, and I could easily lose my mind the way it gets me work each time, pulling me back into the flames, and I'm burning up again. Burning Never understood what was at stake. I never thought your love was with its way. Now you come and go and find you worked it out. Worked it out. It, oh, I. Yeah. Oh, in and I. That was honestly so beautiful, Luke. Thank you so much. Now, after the break, we have our own Mitchell Lay interviewing the talented Ben Patterson, so stay tuned. Hey, mate, it's Dolman. Yeah, I was driving over Sally Gap and there's a pig sitting in the middle of the road. You don't know anyone who's lost a pig, do you? Hold on now, hold on. Has anyone here lost a pig? No, no, I'm sorry. Hey, Harry, you, you don't know anyone out your way who keeps pigs, do you? Huh? I just know they taste all right. Pig. Do you want some of this biscuit? <laughs> They're clustered creams. <laughs> Yeah, I'm phoning about Sue. Yeah, the, the, the pig. I could have her back to you today. Hello? Hey, mate, you don't know anything about looking after pigs, do you? Put our network to work with super fast 4G across over 90% of Ireland. Vodafone, power to you. We're back guys, hope you didn't miss us too much. Now here's Mitch interviewing recent performing arts graduate Ben Patterson, who is visiting Auckland while he prepares for the New Zealand tour of Greece. So first off, tell us a bit about how you got the role. Oh, that was so funny. Um, so I went into that for the um, audition, even though I didn't really need to do one. Um, and they were like, well, can you like just do a piece? And I was like, okay, sure, like obviously. Um, so I recited my famous Shrek piece. Um, it's from the first movie and it's just like when Donkey meets Shrek. So he goes, do you, I mean, do you want to hear it? Um, so he goes, I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. My troubles have forgot. There's no one to to rest me, but you gotta hit birds down. So beautiful. That's I, just a bit. Yeah. See, now I understand why you got the role, because that's just, a I feel like I'm there, you know? Yeah, I know. So um, now that you've got the role and you're fully into your rehearsals and stuff, how are they going? Good. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. good. Any, any cool backstage goss you can give us? Um, well, I mean, everyone's pretty obsessed with me, so it's, Life's pretty good. Life's pretty Do you good. Know what I mean? They just like 
It's like every time I walk, they just want to like kiss my feet. It's a little bit weird, but... Do people bring you gifts and stuff? Of course, like yeah. Like what, what kind of gifts? Oh, just everything. Just like from flowers to like beds. Beds? They bring you beds? <laughs> they do. To your, to your um, changing room, yeah. to your dressing room. <laughs> How do all the beds fit in the dressing room? That seems a bit... You my know, dressing might be room is cramped. basically just like a bed. So like every time I walk in, I'm just like bouncing on lots of beds. And we get lots of people in there, I have lots of slumber parties and stuff. Give me an idea of like how big this dressing, this dressing room is. So my, obviously my dressing room is extremely large. It's about like from like there to here. That's insanely big. I know. I can't imagine. Only the best. You must have thousands of beds in there. I do. That's great. Little dog beds. So aside from, uh, you know, all the gossip and stuff, now that we've got that out of the way, mm -hmm. how, um, how much are you looking forward to performing this show? Oh, it's going to be so good. I mean, I play a major role as one of like the trees in the background. Mm. Like obviously without me, they just wouldn't be able to do anything. Um, I just create their like sort of <laughs> wind motion. Do you know yep. what I mean? And kind of just like, I just, I don't know why I didn't get put as Sandy, but you know. You, why would you want to be put as Sandy if you're a tree? That's fantastic. I just like, because the trees don't sing that much. And like Sandy has like a major role of singing. And I like, obviously from that piece that I showed you, I'm just like a really mm. good singer, so. You are incredibly beautiful singing. Yeah. You have an amazing voice. Thank you. But that's all we've got time for, sorry. Thank you so much for being here with us today. It's been absolutely eye-opening. Back to you, Juliana. Thanks, Ben. We can't wait to come see Greece. Next week, we meet AUT students preparing for the AIN annual Flavours Film Festival. The show celebrates diversity in student video work from all three years of communication. The festival will be held on Tuesday the 15th of November and all students are welcome to attend to share the amazing videos created this year.